we support small, local, sustainable, organic farms. And if we come together, you can do this because you can't beat the big box guys at their game because of economy of scale. They will run you into the ground. Talk to me about what's the forage base look like right now and, and why you chose this path. I'm really interested in, in where you come, come with that. One of the most important things to understand about how we do things at Vanguard Ranch is that first of all, it comes from a very natural and spiritual base. So I don't think that our job here as stewards of the land is to try to necessarily change it. I think our job is to more or less analyze what's here and let nature tell us what belongs here. So monocropping and monocultures where you go in and just plant like, you know, 50 acres in orchard grass or 50 acres in, you know, in any, any selective forage crop. I am not in favor of that. I think that in nature, if you look around, you look at all these woods and you walk through there, there's a bunch of different types of vegetation and that's how it's supposed to be. In nature, there's a balance and nature will find that balance for you if you allow it to have time. I have found that it takes three to five years to get a, a decent forage base of what's supposed to be here. So there's two ways that you can go about this. You can go in and you can like, you know, totally disc and till that land and, and reseed it with the monocrop, or you can wait and see what nature gives you. What nature puts there is what's supposed to be there, and that's what's gonna persist without you having to do a whole lot of work. One way you work harder against nature, one way you allow nature to tell you what belongs there. I will intersperse some select um, seed in there for things that I want my goats to eat, like I did the Cerecia lespediza. But once it's there, I allow it to establish itself. So there's no artificial inputs on our farm. I'm not having to add lime, I'm not having to spray, I'm not having to irrigate those areas. But that's only because I work with nature and not against it. What I've done here is created our own line called Bangus. Bangus is an acronym for the best all natural goat in the United States. Now, when I say all natural, we're not doing what most goat ranchers do to their goats. We're, we're not giving them shots, we're not giving them any hormones, there's no additives, there's no grain. Um, I'm not spraying the navels with iodine when they're born. We do rarely do any hoof trimming. I haven't warmed some of these goats in four or five years. Now, part of that is because A, we don't overcrowd, and the other part is that we're using natural anthelmintics, which are plants that are, are high in tannic acid. The goats, they eat it because they like it. The worms don't like it. So that's how it works. So we selectively plant things like Cerisi Lespediza, Forge Chicory, and that helps keep the worm load down. You know, it's not about being greedy or making, a, you know, like $5 million a year. It's about finding that equilibrium and that balance where you can live comfortably as freely as you want to without having to be stressed out from needing money. Mm -hmm.